Hello, my name is Lee Bobowitz, and welcome back to The Last Door. We last left off, we had collected some items, a log, a net, a music box, a mirror, a stone ornament. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with any of these, though. Is there anything good? Around here? Maybe that lady's left. Let's see if that lady left. I still haven't found anything that will, uh, cut that tapestry. Maybe I can... Do something with the drain? Are you feeling any better, miss? Okay, cool. Well, how the hecky heck are we supposed to get through this? What about this? The wooden stick is not sharp enough to cut the tapestry. Well, maybe the wooden stick is what we need to open this grate. What about the net? Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, here we go. Uh, do you take care of patients here? Of course, Mr. DeVitt. We tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in our care. Uh, did Monsignor already live here? You say that but Monsignor already lived here when this venue was still a boarding school? Indeed, he was- he still was priest and professor before he became Monsignor and started to lead this place. Uh, I want to talk to uh, Monsignor. I'm afraid that's impossible. Monsignor has left strict instructions that he is not, that he not be disturbed, not even by any of the sisters. Uh, what about Mr. Baldwin? Monsignor instructed me to take him on as caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Uh, Mother Elizabeth, has Mr. Baldwin told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. I'll leave you to your duties. There's a postcard inside the mailbox. Dear Matthew, it's been several months and still I've heard no news from you. My brothers insist that you have abandoned me, but I am sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from the hospital in London and pray that it reaches you safely. If that is the case, I want you to know that I will always be waiting for you. Forever yours, Juliet. Oh, I need to go give it to him. So that lady be lying. Why are you always lying? Hey, 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 here you go. Mr. Vin... Mr. Vinge, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it with me if you'd be so kind, as you can see my brother's too weak to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see who's written you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. Dear Matthew, I hope you are recovering. I wish that your beloved sister and you would come back home soon. You liar. Mother needs to c more care now than ever. She worries a lot. Aha. Since you left remember the good times when we all lived together? You, selfish! You, selfish little... I need to wait until she's gone, but I need to, like... How do I get her to leave? Throw the net on her? No. Can I hit her with the log? No. Well, I got the letters. Can I give him the letters? My letters! All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet! You never posted them! But why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> how could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. Her only interest in marrying someone of your status, of our family status. It was for your sake I did this. I did it to protect you. No, you only thought you of yourself, of your vanity. I can't bear to look at you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. You dare banish me, I who have stayed by your side all through your illness? Very well, Matthew. You will have your way. I will leave you and then you will see how alone you are. Farewell, brother. Thanks be to the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please, take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is my lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than it has myself. Ah, I bet that'll work. Juliet. Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't die. Hmm. 
You know what? Let's go try the nun upstairs. That might be a good place to try. I'm surprised we were able to give him the letters, though. I didn't think that was going to work. Not sure what song this is, but maybe you'll find it relaxing. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful melody. Reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you, for you have given me the sign I was looking for. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Let's take the morphine. Give me that. Oh, I want it. Oh, fine. Well, what can we do here? <clears throat> A lot of dry leaves have accumulated. They are blocking the water stream. Maybe we can do something with that. I think this would be useless. Well, what about this? I cannot leave the netting here. This pipe is full of dried leaves. I think that would be useless. Well, why don't you think of something that would be good? You bum, I can't use the log to get the trees. Ugh, fine. 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 Where did the sister go? Did the sister go here? Let's try going to the shore again. Maybe something else has appeared now that there's been some time. You got, you are creepy, you know that, sir? You're like crazy creepy. Oh. Oh. Hi. A nun's habit and walking stick. They no doubt belong to the nun I, nun I spoke to by the window. Where did she go? Can we take can we take the cane? Can we take can we take the stick? The stick would be useful. So it looks like the nun committed suicide. That's always good. Do you have anything else useful to say, sir? Who is the Monsignor, Mr. Baldwin? I cannot rightfully say, after all these years, I have never seen the man. Who knows, maybe he does not exist. But Mother Elizabeth told me that Monsignor specifically requested your hiring by letter. I am flattered my reputation precedes me, but I still cannot tell you anything about the man. I'll leave you to your work. Maybe that nun is gone? Ugh. Can't you just leave? Can't we just... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. We just had to pull them out. Cool. I blunted the sharp edges of the pipe. Now I need not fear getting cut. Awesome. The net should catch anything coming down the pipe. Oh, good. All right. So we now know what we're supposed to do. We're going to go turn on the drain, but we'll do that in the next episode. Sorry to leave you hanging, but I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. If you are, go ahead and show that like button some love. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if it's night wherever you are, hope you have a wonderful night. See you soon. Bye.